if you can, can we all be upstanding as we read the scriptures together? Exodus chapter 30, we'll read from verse 22 to verse 25. Exodus chapter 30, we'll read from verse 22 to verse 25. Exodus chapter 30, from verse 22 until 25, from the New King James Version. I read in Jesus' name. Moreover, the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Also take for yourself quality spices, 500 shekels of liquid mare, half of much sweet-smelling cinnamon, 250 shekels, 250 shekels of sweet-smelling cane, 500 shekels of cassia, according to the shekel of the sanctuary and the hin of olive oil. And you shall make from these a holy anointing, an ointment compounded according to the art of perfumer. It shall be a holy anointing oil. Amen. Amen. Please, shall we take our seats. So, I am speaking on sacred oil. Sacred oil. The New King James Version says holy oil. But the New International Version will say sacred oil. Make these into a sacred anointing oil. A fragrant blend. The work of a perfumer. It will be the sacred anointing oil. Anytime you hear the word sacred, it means connected to God. Connected to God. Anything which is sacred is connected to God. There is that God connection. So, if I am sacred, it means that I have a connection with God. If you are sacred, you are connected to God. If your ministry is sacred, John, it means that your ministry has a connection to God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will leave this auditorium connected to God. Connected to God. If you witness anyone who has prospered in life, it means such a person has a connection. And that is why our churches must be sacred. For if the church is not sacred, it is a sacrilege. One topic that in Christendom many have raised and many have abused is the subject of anointing. But let me say this. When you accept Jesus into your life, according to Romans chapter 10 and verse 9, your spirit is anointed. So, 1 John chapter 2 and verse 27 says that the anointing you received remains in you. So, if you know Jesus, you are connected. So no one should deceive you that you need a special form of anointing whilst you have accepted Jesus. No. Once you have accepted Jesus, your spirit is anointed. But what we are reading in the book of Exodus is anointing for service. For the one you received when you became born again is the anointing in you, which is the born again anointing. In the Old Testament, they used to call it the leper's anointing. Leprosy takes you out of the city. But once you are cured of your leprosy, you are anointed and you come back into the fold. So in the New Testament, it is the born again anointed. Now, the second one we are referring to is for service. In the Old Testament, it was referred to as the priestly anointing for the priest. But 
1 Peter 2 9 makes us understand that you are a priest in your own right. You are a priest in your home. You are a priest at your workplace. You are a priest in the train. You are a priest in the bus. So this is applicable to all of us. And God now instructs five spices. Number one, meh. What is the benefit of meh? It is for preservation. Meh slows decay. So, John, the sacred oil that the Lord is giving to you and grace today is for the preservation of the church. And it is for the preservation of the people that the Lord has entrusted into your hands. This sacred oil must preserve the church and the people in the church. Number two, cinnamon. But the Bible was emphatic. Sweet smelling cinnamon. This sacred oil has an aroma that not only Amsterdam but all the cities in the Netherlands. And cinnamon provides protection against infection. Amen. With you in charge, the church must not be infected. Why? Because you have been anointed with a sacred oil. So, if you are a priest in your own right, in your home, at your workplace, no infection. Why? Because I am anointed. Number three, came. In some other versions, the Bible says calamus. And it is aromatic cane. Now, this oil paints the one who uses it. So, it leaves a lingering trace wherever you go. You are not being anointed today for the anointing to leave you tomorrow. No. With the sacred oil, there is always a lingering trace wherever you go. It taints you. It becomes part of you. Just raise your right hand up. That you will preserve that you will be sweet smelling. That this anointing will change your life. And will leave a trace wherever you go. The fourth one is cassia. Cassia is a flavoring agent. So, wherever you are, you spice the place up. The ministry must bring people up. The ministry must not bring people down. The ministry must not set people back. You are a flavoring agent. People love to see you. People love to come near you. Why? Because there is an aura of nobility around you. Which attracts we don't curse, but we bless. The last one. Olive. Olive is a nutritional supplement. It nourishes. 
So once you get connected to God with the sacred oil, you nourish, you supplement. Grace, you nourish. You become a supplement. And remember, there is always an expression. Oh, give him or her an olive branch. Olive stands for peace. Your church must be peaceful because of the sacred oil. Shall we be upstanding if we can? But the spices were five. Three were bitter, sour. Two were sweet. And the ones which were bitter, the quantity was twice the ones which were sweet. No one should take the sacred oil for granted. For sometimes we are in pain and yet we become a pain reliever unto others. The minister may be carrying pain, may be sick, and yet when he lays hands on the sick, they are healed. Challenges may come. Who said Christians don't suffer? Many are the afflictions of the righteous. It is not only the wicked that suffers, but the righteous also goes through suffering. But after we have suffered with him for a little while, If challenges come, never bend the knee. For we are to go through all that. But in this day, the sacred oil, take note, is not physical. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power and he went around doing good and healing all those who were under the power of the enemy for God was with him if we have the Holy Ghost what else do we need oh raise your two hands to the heavens ask for the sacred oil it is already evident in the name of Jesus that you will be a preserver of the family. You will be a preserver. Preserver of nations, a preserver. In the name of Jesus that you, you will slow infection. Oh, you provide a protection against infection. You, you will be sweet smelling and aromatic. In the name of Jesus that you, you will be a nourisher. You, you will be a flavoring agent.
Pastor John Amua and Mrs. Dr. Mrs. Grace Connie Angu to come upstage. <laughs> 